Hey guys, this is your friend in programming Kodajit and in this video I'll be talking about creating menus in Electron. So if you create any application that's for the desktop, you are going to put a menu more often than not. And in this tutorial we'll learn exactly how to do that. We will learn to create the top, you know, the menus that are on the top of the form, the operating system native menus. Plus, we'll also learn how to create context menus and we will also deal with accelerator keys. In case you don't know what accelerator keys are, these are the shortcut keys that you press on the keyboard to run the menu commands. So we're going to learn all of that and I hope by the end of this tutorial you will know exactly how to do this. Let's get started right away. So here we have an application that we created earlier in a different tutorial. It's a very simple app, nothing much happening here. It's just a box with a button. Let's see it in action before we start. So I'm going to do npm run start and start is a script that I have created and I'm using Electron Forge in this one. So here is the app and here is a surprise. We didn't really create a menu yet, but you can see that there is a menu over here. The file menu, edit, view, window, help. There seem to be a lot of options already and a lot seems to be happening. But if we look at the code, we haven't really created a menu yet. So where is this coming from? Uh, well, this is the Electron default menu. If you don't set up a menu for your application, Electron will put up a default menu, this one, and you will get a number of ready-made options. Uh, frankly speaking, there are times when you actually don't want to display a menu. Maybe you're making a console application. Maybe you're making an application that's supposed to be driven only using the mouse or a game. So let's start by learning how to remove this default menu. It's very easy. You got to start by first importing the menu class, the menu space. And it's a part of the Electron namespace. You can just require Electron and I've got the menu uh, class menu object over here. And here what you need to do is menu.set application menu this is the command we use to set the main application menu the top menu of the app and if you pass a null in here you will see that now the application will not have a menu so let's just see it in action again i've run the app and this time you can see there is no menu displayed there is no menu in the app this is what you need to do if you don't want any menu and now let's create a custom menu of our own so we are back in the code and I like to make my project as modular as possible to divide them into files and make them self-contained to organize the project better. So I'm going to create a new JavaScript file called menumaker.js because I don't want to put all the menu code in the index.js file. It's not really a smart idea. So you should try to make your code as modular as possible. So here is my menumaker.js file and let me put some info, you know, stuff in there. So the first line we have is, of course, we need to uh, import the menu uh, object from Electron. And this is the app object because inside the menu object, you, you might want to use it. You might want to run some commands and there you might want to use the app object too. So I'm importing that too. Next, we need to check the platform. Now, the concept of Electron is you should be able to make a multi-platform uh, app. And sometimes you have to create a separate menu system depending on the platform. And that is actually more valid for Mac. So we are writing some special code to detect whether this application is running on Mac. Uh, we are setting the is Mac object, the is Mac variable over here. Next, we're gonna create the menu system itself. So let's create a menu called template, the menu template, and let us create a special menu for Mac. So here is a take a look at this. This is the app menu. So on Mac systems, you have something called the app menu and you see it when you click on the application icon. This is not something we have in Windows or Linux. So you will see this only for Mac. So here is the structure. We're first checking whether the platform is Mac. And if the platform is Mac, we are then creating an array. This is the menu template. This is the app name here. The app name will be the main menu top level item. And then you have a sub menu. Now notice this, there is something called role here. And next to the role, there is a text like about and 
then they've got type separator. So basically role are actually predefined roles in electron and these are actually shortcuts. These are shortcuts. So when you write role about, it's automatically gonna turn into an about menu with the correct text, with the correct accelerator. And when you click on it, if you set up an about box in your app, it will be displayed. If here is an example here again, if the role is quit, you will have the correct command in your menu quit command and when people click on it the application is going to exit automatically but our menu is not quite done we've got more stuff so let's take a look at that i'm going to put in another item now to save time i have created it earlier and i'm just copy pasting stuff this time we have the file menu so it's another object it's a this is a menu template object right over here we have to we have to provide some basic you know uh, settings over here the first setting is the label settings what is going to be displayed as the menu item so the first item displayed is the file menu this is the file menu which will be the top level text file then you can have a sub menu to this top level menu and that's what we set over here the sub menu is an array as you can see and this array can have multiple objects multiple menu objects again so the so here is the first object i have only one sub menu item in here it's called open file the label is open file and this time instead of having a role like this one i am connecting the menu to a click event so on the click event i am running an asynchronous function and inside the function i'm calling a do open file function so here you can write anything you want actually i'm going to comment it because i haven't written the do open file function but the idea is here you can write the command to perform the menu action you can call a function, you can write the code here itself. So if you're gonna sh show a new form, you're gonna show a dialog box, whatever you want to do, you can do it right over here. Let's continue with the rest of our menu. I'm gonna paste the rest of it here. Here we go. And then we've got the edit menu. And here again, you can see a lot of use of role. So you've got a bunch of role command. It's not just limited to about box. You do have a lot more. Uh, you can see things like undo, redo. These are all the standard edit menu commands. Separator, cut, copy, paste. All of these things you can do. You can use ready-made or you can put in your own uh, custom menu items too. That's perfectly a reasonable idea. Mostly you will be creating your custom menu items because maybe your app will not run like a text editor. This is more like a text editor. Maybe your app is something different. We have the view menu and here I have got the reload function again nothing special this too is a role uh, function so it's gonna reload the display text and then we've got a custom menu called my menu so it's got a custom label but again you can even specify role menus inside a custom menu that you've set up so you can see that i've got minimize zoom basic commands like that so this is our menu now we need to show it so even if this menu is ready if you run the code we will notice that it's not going to be attached to the form yet because we haven't written the code for that here yet so let's do that now let's attach the menu to the code so here's what we will do at the end of the menu at the end of the menu module we have a object called template we're going to write the code to create the menu system and we will need to export the menu in a module so here's what we'll do module dot exports dot main menu let's call it main menu equals to menu we're going to use the menu object over here sorry build from template and then we will need to pass in the template so here's what we, we've done we have exported main menu and now we need to import this so let's go back to the top of our top of our top of our index.js page and let's call constant main menu equals to sorry require and then we need to refer to the file so menu maker now we've got the main menu object let's just use it to set our menu instead of now let's set up our main menu object over here and now let us run the app and we should see our menu here we go okay so there is an error we don't see the menu instead there is an error and i know the reason is because i misspelled the file name it should be menu maker not menu makers so terminate the bad job run it again and this time it should work and we will see our menu 
here we go you can see the menu file menu edit view and my menu so this is how we set up a custom menu to the top level now let us learn how to create a context menu it's not that much different or difficult all right now it's time to create a context menu and again to save time i have pre-typed it but let's take a look at the structure so this time we've got a constant uh, we got a template called context template and it's pretty much the same structure we have a array of menus menu items and each item is a menu so we've got a label here and label called options and in that we've got a sub menu with another label do something and on the click event for that particular menu item we're gonna show an alert called the app just some text and there's another top level menu in the context menu called some more options so it's just another template that is ready and just like this particular line we're gonna create another menu object and we're gonna export it let's call it pop pop up menu this time and instead of building it from template, we're going to build it from context template. That's it. It should be done. So when we go to our index menu now, we can actually call the pop-up menu. So we can have pop-up menu right over here from menu maker. And now we just need to show this menu. We need to pop it up. So here we are in our index.js file. And this is where we need to write the code to show up, to pop up our context menu. And to do that, what we need to do is right below the code where the main window is created, we will paste this code. And this says main window dot web contents. And web contents here refers to the, to the captured browser, the browser area where the HTML will actually be rendered. So when there is a context menu, event on the display you want to trap it that's what we are doing but after everything is done after the file is loaded after the display is loaded loaded then we can capture this event web contents on context menu and here we can show our context menu using the command pop-up so we're doing pop-up menu dot pop-up and as a context argument we are passing the web contents that it refers to so we're going to save it now and if we run it we should see the context menu pop up let's try it now it's compiling and here we are and if we right click we can see that our menu does pop up we've got an options menu and we've got some more options two menus uh, two commands and when we click on do something while for example we're getting an error because uh, there's no alert command in the backend so we can't call an alert but you can write any code you want over here let's do a console log instead console.log yep so let's do that instead we're gonna break it run it again let's see what happens this time and if we go to our console, we can see yep is printed over here. So this was how to create the context menus. Now let us look at the accelerator. Let's look at how to create a custom accelerator in a menu. All right, for our accelerator, I actually wrote a console.log in the do open file command. If you remember in the file menu, we had a do open file command. And now we have set up an accelerator for it by just adding another small option a comma and you write the text accelerator you set the accelerator option and here you need to provide a string that matches an accelerator text that that is that can be clicked the keys that can be clicked to run this command command is something from the mac os so we have the string command or control plus o so if the user process command plus o or control plus o this accelerator should run and we should see the command we see the text file opened in console.log so let's try that too now and we're gonna run it we got the project open and if i press control o i should see file opened you can see file open so this command was run and the menu was called using the accelerator Electron does have a list of all the accelerator options you can get so here is the link for it I will put the link in the description too so you can see the available modifiers command or control alter option all the modifiers available and you can combine them with these keys so you can 
you can trap nearly any key combination and if you go to this uh, if you go to this url electronjs.org docs slash latest slash slash api slash accelerator you will find it or you can click on the menu api and inside of api you can look for accelerator just search for accelerator over here and click on it you will find the accelerator commands and you can create your own accelerators this way so i hope this tutorial was useful for you you learned how to create menus context menus and apply accelerators and we learned how to organize the menu too if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel i'm going to make a lot more tutorials on programming across varied technologies i'm programming every day i work on software and code every day and connect to connect with me to to embark on a wonderful journey where we will share programming learning this is your friend in programming code ajit signing